Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we're trying squirrel makeup. As you beautiful people know, any tip you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh, my little naughty nut collectors, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing wonderful. It is such a freaking gorgeous day outside. I can't wait to slap this on my face and then go play in the grass. My eyes are gonna be all red. My throat's gonna be all swollen. Oh, I just love allergies. But no, I ordered this so damn long ago. This is definitely a TikTok made me buy it. And I actually bought a few different variations. So I have this squirrel, I have this little whale, and then I also have this ghost. And so I think I'm gonna separate these each into different videos because these are complete face sets. Some more than others. I think this has like lips, eyes, and face. This one has lips and this one has lips and eyes. But each little guy is enough to do a full look with. So I thought we could start with a big shebang right here and do this squirrel. It's just so cute, right? I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember how much these were. I wanna say around 20 or 30 bucks each. I think they might actually have these at Walmart, but I'm not sure. But inside of our little furry nugget, it has five lip creams, one gloss, five eyeshadows, and one highlighter. All packed inside this little bitch. Oh, and I probably should have said this is by Pupa Makeup. I think it's Pupa Milano. Papa Milano. And it comes with a big ass diagram just in case you forget what it looks like while you have it in your hand. Oh no, I guess it's telling you what each individual product is. Okay, well that's nice. Let's bring out the goods. Oh my gosh, it's so cute cute. He's made out of plastic. It has a really good weight to it. It's a nice cute pink shade. Even if the makeup is shit, this is fun just to display. Oh my gosh, I just want to kiss it. Okay, let's see how she is inside. <laughs> oh wow, okay, so we get a nice little mirror, the little fluffy applicator, which I haven't used one of these since the 90s, and then all of the product is right here. Oh, okay. You actually get a decent amount of product in there. We have all the lip shades right there. Up there is the gloss. Here are the eyeshadows. And then I think that's supposed to be the highlighter. It looks like a cream. You know what? I think we actually get a couple creams. It's like Vaseline mixed with pigment. This top one and this bottom one look very, very gelatinous. Otherwise, absolutely adorable, right? I think it kind of has a smell. Oh yeah, the lip products smell like vanilla pudding. Mmm, like vanilla wafer. Oh, I just want to lick them. And while we're here, let's feel these eyeshadows, shall we? Okay, not the most pigmented thing in the world, especially since that was a shimmer. And usually shimmers are great, even if they're shitty palettes. The one matte that we get though does seem fairly decent. They're just okay swatch-wise. Nothing spectacular. They're not the most pigmented things in the world, but it's not like you pick up so much that they go fly either. They just seem okay. I'm gonna go out a limb here and assume that this is probably more for like a novelty type thing. I can't imagine you hiring a makeup artist and then pulling this out, but you never know. Then let's feel these highlighters. Oh yeah, those are very creamy. They have a very Halloween makeup feel, especially this brown one. It just is kind of gross, like it's sticky. And I don't know when in the hell you would ever use that. This is popping as shit though. But because it's creamy, it would probably melt my makeup. So yeah, I don't know about those. Then let's feel our little lipsticks. Oh, fucking hell. Those are very pigmented. Wow. It doesn't feel like a normal lipstick. It kind of feels like a child's lipstick, like that glossy sticky feel. And then we can't forget these last two. Oh, the gloss is like really gloss straight from the 2000s, but it's really pretty and very, very glossy, which I guess is the fucking point. I'm not in love with them, but what were we expecting? Although for 30 bucks, I kind of was expecting just a little bit more. But we all know swatches ain't shit. This could be fan freaking tastic on the eyes. So let's hop into a look, shall we? To prime, I'm gonna go in with the Dr. Brand Backlight Primer. And for foundation, I have been fucking obsessed with the Patrick Tom Major Sculpt. And when I first reviewed it, I was a little bit miffed because I didn't think this would last me very long. However, I kind of used a different application method. I'll take a stipple brush and just lightly dab in and I'll kind of work this into sections of my face. So I'll start down on my cheek and I do kind of blend it into my beard and I don't cake this shit on. Like who the hell am I? I don't want cake face anymore. I just like light, minimal, breathable coverage. I think five or six years ago, I didn't even know what those words were. I was applying everything with a fucking paint roller. And now look at me. You can see my freckles through my foundation. But yeah, just 
just look at the difference between the two sides. We have a nice natural skin glow, and then this is just a little bit healthier of a glow. Plus the fact that I fell in love with a hella expensive product, I just want to make it last as long as possible. It's also one of the only foundations that match me lately. No matter if I get sun or if I'm on the pale side, it still matches me. It's basically the sweatpants of foundation. Damn, so pretty. And then freaking squeeze squeeze, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown and natural tan. And I do kind of like to be pretty minimal with this too. I think because I'm actually doing a look today, I will go in a little bit heavier. Ooh, damn, that kind of burns on the eyelid. What the fuck did I have on there earlier? But we can just tippy tappy this out. I like how I'm using all these hella expensive products and then going in with squirrel makeup, which I'm still not convinced isn't sold at like Claire's. And then before I show any expression under my eyes, I'm gonna dip into the Patrick Top powder and just pop a little right there. Not going too far out with this because I do still have my contour. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit right on the center of the forehead where I have the most expression. And while the under eyes are kind of doing their thing, I'm gonna go in with my cream contour. This is Suela by Hank and Henry. And we can tap her right the hell into place. We'll finish up with a little bit of bronzer by Laura Mercy Gay. Oh yes, make it look like I actually leave my house. And there we go, base face is on. To prime our eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. We are ever so slightly limited with the number of looks we can do, especially because we only have one matte and it's dark as shit. But I think I actually want to try going in with this deeper creamy shit. And let's start with that right on the lid. I'm only taking a little teeny tiny bit, but I'm hoping maybe it'll blend in with the primer that I laid down and turn into something lighter. Oh yeah, that is just greasy. It's literally Vaseline on the eye. I wonder if this was supposed to be a bronzer, but this is so oily and greasy that it's instantly gonna melt whatever the fuck you put it on. But blend it in with that primer that's actually not that bad looking. It's kind of giving a post bruise purple. And even though it is basically lube with pigment in it, it's really not that uncomfortable on the eye. Like it doesn't feel heavy. Yeah, I don't love it, but I don't mind it. Let's take a little bit of that and slather it on the lower lash too. Uh, yeah, that just feels great. Feels like rubbing slime on the eyes. Okay, well, not impressed. Let's try some of the only matte that we have, this gorgeous deep, deep brown. And we'll start with that on the outer corner. I'm positive that it's just gonna stick there and I would be very surprised if it actually blends out. You know what? It actually is blending out. Well, color me pink and call me Sandy. Yeah, that's actually not even that bad of an eyeshadow. Is it anything spectacular? No. It's pretty much on par with anything that you could get at the drugstore, but I thought sure as shit it would just stick there and be super patchy going over that bronzy shade. But nay, it's actually pretty good. Let's once again plop a little bit right onto the lower lash. Well, I'm gonna be real. Most people don't typically do extravagant makeup looks. This would probably be it for a lot of people. And I don't mind this. It has kind of like a nice oily sheen as a base. And it's actually pretty. It's super simple. Like throw on some eyeliner and mascara and call it good and I would be all set. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not upset. Certainly not gonna say, oh my God, go run out and buy this. But I feel like we might actually be able to make this work. Oh, see on this side, I either picked up more or it's sticking the hell down. I can't tell which, but that is not cute. Well, it is blending out. What do we think? Yes? No? Maybe? I think I did just take a smidge more on this side, but really, I don't mind either side. It blends out to be a nice mauve brownish, and with the wet look that it has, it's actually kind of nice. Let's take a little bit of the shimmer that's next to it, and I just want to see how that looks on the eyelid. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, let's put that all over the eyelid. We are being sloppy hoes with this, but bitch, you know in the end we're gonna turn out a look. That's really pretty too, fuck. It's still kind of wet looking, but now it's a little bit more sparkly. I really fucking love that glossy base. I've never used anything like that before. It reminds me of something Kim Kardashian would wear on the runway. And just out of curiosity, let's take some of this gold shade and maybe plop it as a little bit of an inner highlight. Oh, hell yes. Mama, that is gorgeous. Because my eye is so sticky like it took the load of a football team, it's still sticking down marvelously. Let's just kind of bring a little bit up to the brow, shall we? I'm certainly not gonna say this is like a professional grade palette, but I feel like with what you're given, you actually could turn out maybe one or two good looks. Let's also try this little peach color. I'm gonna place that like halfway in. Oh, that's cute. Honestly, it kind of looks the same as literally everything else that we have on. I don't know if it's because it's so sheer or just because all the color tones are so similar or because we're applying 30 different shadows to our eyes. I don't know. But let's finish up with this white highlight right on the inner, inner part of the eye. Ooh, that 
is hella greasy, hella Halloween-y, but still super vibrant. This does feel like what you get at Party City. Certainly not something I'd necessarily feel comfortable using every day or even going out in. Let's try the cream highlight though on the actual face. Eh? Oh my god! Holy hell! That is beaming and beautiful and I'll be Damn, it's not removing my makeup. That is beautimous, is it not? Oh, <laughs> I think I like the highlighter the most out of all of this so far. Which, being a total slut for highlighters, are we surprised? Now, which lippy dippy do we want? My mind definitely wants to go more towards the nude lip, but I do want to see how bold these are, so let's go in for the deepest red. Oh, that is lovely, and here you go. Oh my gosh, what the hell? That is great, I'm gonna take a little bit more. Wow, it's pigmented, it's very comfortable, it actually feels like it might dry down. It's a tiny bit on the more grainy side, but not uncomfortable. It's like if you just ate cornstarch and rubbed your lips together. And it also tastes very, mm, it's like the cheapest cherry flavor ever walked next to a really inexpensive perfume factory. That's how this tastes. It's not the most pleasant. However, this is surprisingly great looking on the lips. I guess let's just try a little bit of the gloss over this. Hopefully it doesn't tear this all to hell. Ooh, mmm, very nice. It did totally eat away the lipstick, but it also kind of got rid of that graininess too, so I ain't mad. Let me attempt to do one of my iconic wangs. It's been a little while. Hopefully I remember how. And here we are with our final look. It's pretty. It's not a lot of look for the amount of product that we had to use. Could I have probably gotten the same thing with like three different shadows from a better palette? Yeah, but it is certainly pretty. This look was just like me. <laughs> Easy. The lipstick, I do kind of regret putting that gloss on because it it's all the hell over my teeth now. Like I even did the finger sucking thing and it's still getting everywhere. I think I'd probably pick one product or the other, but the lipsticks are actually pretty decent. The eyeshadows, yeah, there are a lot on the eyes and they do kind of feel a little bit heavy now that I've had them on for a little while, but it's not uncomfortable. I definitely wouldn't wear this if you wear contacts, but I love how kind of effortless and glossy they look. So do I recommend this little squirrel? Honestly, no, unless you think this is cute. I don't know what I paid for it, but I know it was over 20 20 bucks and I don't think it's worth that. If you want something a little bit gimmicky and kind of fun to give like a kid, then maybe they would like this, but as real everyday makeup, it's just not that great. Like it works, but there are so many other things that I'd rather use. Plus I'm noticing a lot of the fallout off of this is going into the lip glosses and kind of fucking them up. There's brown glitter in there now, there's gold glitter, there's the dark brown matte pigment everywhere. It's just super sloppy. Totally poor design for actual use, but is it cute? Very. Super adorable and that's pretty much it. But maybe we'll have better luck with the other products that we got. I'm kind of excited to try those. Let me know if you've ever seen anything from this brand or tried anything from them. I know a couple of their products kind of went viral at least a few months ago. But otherwise, my loves, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And you know what? If you want a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplex. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon only content and best part, it's cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you again soon. Bye! Okay.